creator in history, Jin Zhusen, also known as Xu Shenxian, was a prominent Chinese scientist who made significant contributions to the fields of rocketry and aerospace engineering. His life and work spanned several countries, and he is often regarded as one of the founding figures of China's modern rocketry and space program. Here is an overview of his life, works, achievements, and inventions. Early life and education. Jin Zhusen was born on December 11, 1911, in Hangzhou, China. He attended Zhejiang University and later traveled to the United States for his graduate studies. Jin Zhusen's interest in rocketry and aeronautics began during his childhood. He was inspired by a book on astronautics that he read at a young age. During his time at Mid and Caltech, Jin conducted research in aerodynamics and propulsion, which laid the foundation for his later work in rocketry. Education in the United States Jin earned his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Shanghai Jiao Tong University in 1934. He then pursued his master's degree in aeronautical engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, mid and completed his Ph.D. in the same field at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. Work in the United States During World War II, Jin Zusen worked on various military projects in the United States, including the development of jet propulsion systems. He made significant contributions to the development of the American jet aircraft industry and was involved in projects like the development of the P-59 Air Comet, America's first jet fighter. World War II Contributions Jin Zusen was part of the team that developed the variable mass rocket, which was crucial for studying high-speed aerodynamics and became the basis for future rocket research. Return to China and Political Controversy Qian's decision to return to China in the 1950 seconds was influenced by the political climate in the United States during the McCarthy era. He faced accusations of communist sympathies, which led to his security clearance being revoked, and he was unable to continue his work in the U.S. Upon his return to China, Jin Zusen played a pivotal role in developing China's missile technology, helping the country become a significant player in the global aerospace arena. Jin Zusen returned to China in 1955. His decision to leave the United States and return to China had political implications during the Cold War. Long March Changzheng Rockets Jin Zusen's work on the Long March Changzheng Rockets was instrumental in China's ability to launch satellites and conduct crewed space missions. These rockets have been used for a wide range of missions, including lunar exploration and the deployment of China's space station modules. Academic and Leadership Roles Jin Zusen held various leadership positions in China's aerospace and defense industries, including serving as the vice chairman of the Qin Association for Science and Technology. He was an advocate for the development of science and technology in China and promoted the training of young scientists and engineers. Achievements in China In China, Jin Zusen played a crucial role in establishing the country's missile and space programs. He is often referred to as the father of Chinese rocketry. He led the development of China's first ballistic missiles, including the DF-2 missile, which became a cornerstone of China's defense capabilities. Qian Zusen contributed to China's first satellite launch, the Dongfang Hong-1 DF-1, in 1970. Inventions and Contributions Qian's work on aerodynamics, rocket propulsion, and spacecraft design had a lasting impact on China's space exploration efforts. He made substantial contributions to the development of China's Long March Changzheng rockets which are used for launching satellites and crewed space missions. Jin Zusen's research laid the foundation for China's space station program, leading to the construction and operation of the Tiangong space station. Recognition and honors. Jin Zusen received numerous awards and honors during his lifetime, both in China and internationally. These include the prestigious two 
bombs, one satellite, meritorious medal, and the title of academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. In recognition of his contributions to rocketry and aerospace, the China National Space Administration CNSA named its headquarters, building the Jinzhusen Space Science and Technology Mansion. Legacy Jinzhusen passed away on October 31, 2009, in Beijing, China, at the age of 97. He is celebrated in China as a national hero and a pioneer in aerospace engineering and missile technology. His work and contributions to China's space program continue to influence the country's advancements in space exploration and technology. Qian Zuzun's life and work remain an important part of the history of rocketry and aerospace engineering in both China and the world.